Which one would we be of more beneficial to us? The one that performed the bone marrow or the head of the sickle cell? Both. Yeah. Because the, the one with the sickle cell can talk about the sickle cell disease, you know, what what people should be looking for, how it, you know, they, they can talk more about that. So that's the disease. Then we need to have to somebody talk about the cure, which is bone marrow transplant, you know, how that becomes available. And, uh, and that person can probably talk about, he probably, they, their knowledge is probably much more on how many have been done, you know, and then if this was the first one, that there's a need to do more, that there's other kids. What I'm going to suggest we do, <clears throat> let's do a letter to each of them okay. from step by step. Let's get the letter to me, hopefully latest by the end of the week. And both of them are at Sickest Hospital. Yeah, yeah. So I will go and hand deliver it to them. Okay. And doctors are usually busy. It's very yeah. hard to get doctors so to, 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 to actually see them too. So, so if they can't, I will go uh, myself. yeah, but I'll, if they, I'll find them. <laughs> <laughs> but if they can't attend, uh, because they might be doing surgery or something very important, um, if we can get a letter to be read out by them. Well, let's so. include that in the in the uh, letter. Okay. That your presence will be very much appreciated. If, for whatever reason, you cannot attend, could you please send a greetings or something that, that can be read out? Exactly, yeah. exactly. So I will try and make sure I see them. If they cannot attend, and they can, you know, send something that can be read out. Yeah, because these are both very informed sources. And the uh, government acts more quickly on the uh, informed sources. Mm -hmm. And when they see it, whether they're present, it'll have a more, but even a letter, it'll have an impact. Uh, yeah. So well, let's, let's make sure that the letter from step by step will indicate the name of the doctor. Under the name of the doctor, re sickle cell disease slash a recent marrow, uh, bone marrow transplant done for the name of the kid. Okay. That's what the press release yeah. will be. Yeah. So they'll, that way they'll know exactly. Yeah. The they'll they'll see. Specific. Yeah. They'll see the agenda. They'll see the press release. Yeah. So if you could and now do we that, need your yeah. Yeah. Do that ASAP. Yeah. And uh, so that I can uh, give it to them. With, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. That'll be done. That'll be so um, <clears throat> I think they might be able to provide. And I don't know anybody better because they're in it every day uh, to provide the recommendations. Yeah. Any, any, anybody else will just be guessing, guessing or because it. these guys are at it every day yeah. and they're, they're talking to health officials in the states too, so they know what's out in the states. So they'll know what recommendations yeah. uh, should be. Should be. The Adam is experienced, he has been in the states and also in Europe. He has been in London. England. Right. So he, he knows what Canada is lacking, what yes. Canada needs. It is. Yeah. Uh, has he gone to the Caribbean or worked with anybody in the Caribbean that has the this sickle, I mean, the sickle cell is everywhere. Yeah. But I'm saying, do you know if he has even gone in that area? Or no, no? I'm, I, I don't have that information. Yeah, we have another doctor that has been, uh, he, this doctor is in Nigeria. Oh, okay. Yeah. And he has been everywhere. But although he has been everywhere and has done all these things, uh, yet, the uh, he came over as the guest speaker in one of our meetings right. at the church. Yeah. However, what makes this Dr. Adams uh, and the other one a Dr. little bit more yeah, yeah useful for this particular event yeah, yeah. is the fact that they know the victims. They know the people. That right. So and, that way they, they can zero in. Yeah. Yeah. Even though one will yeah. be talking predominantly on sickle cell, but the other one did the bone marrow. Case. Yeah, it yeah. makes it so when it there's a personal connection. Yeah, mm -hmm. so it gives it be, more. Be, uh, yeah, uh, Dr. Adamu would have been perfect because he's now number one. He's black, he's from Nigeria and everything else, yeah. and he's been all over. all over. But yet, 
he may not be able to speak specifically case on specific. this, this particular case. Yeah, yeah. and that particular case is what, we're trying is to what get we want to right now. Exactly. So, but yeah. he's good on the periphery. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. That's where I think the oh, knowledge, because yeah. without knowledge we perish. We, we, we perish, yeah. Yeah, so, yeah we, so, so he would be good on the periphery, yeah. and this guy is like to the yeah. sea. I mean, the even there, who, yeah, even then, like, they, they, they all have the they knowledge, all, yeah. and they all work together. But the key thing is to say, okay, well, this one works Is what specific? Yeah. Okay. Um, so can, can you talk about the process, like when you... Uh, you know, uh, found out that you can do this bone marrow transplant. Yeah, we were asked for to come for um, initial to do a test, just to check if there's a match within the family, and the out of all. Can of you us. describe the st steps that need to be taken? Uh, like what what steps had to be taken to find that out? Yeah, is to go to the hospital and um, they they will take blood from each and every uh, one in the family. Okay, and uh, this blood will be taken to for starting screening, and yeah. I think after two or three weeks, I'm not too sure, mm -hmm. I can't remember exactly right now, um, they came back and said, okay, yeah, this one's match. So they were able to get my son, my older son, that right. there's a match for his brother. Okay, and then thereafter, they recommend John to the bone marrow transplant team, mm -hmm. I guess, uh, for, for the operation. That right. they, they've gotten a match. So there's also a waiting time. Actually, we've been given like two or uh, up to two or three different days in, right. the, in the past right. that they had to cancel. And they didn't give us any reason. Just um, well, it's not going to happen on that day. So until even this one, we were given a very short notice. Mm -hmm. that we need to come to the hospital just a day to the election, October 13th. Mm -hmm. and we had to move in there right away. Mm -hmm. And what exactly took place? Um, from your, uh, so he's five, six years old. Sorry, he, no, he's, he's uh, four years old. Four years old. Son. The one that donated. No, the one that donated is five years. Five years old. Older okay. One. The younger and, one is. And what, sorry, what was his name? The five-year-old. Daniel. 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 Yes. John Daniel. is the recipient. And John is the, so Daniel, um, when he was preparing to donate, what exactly? What was the operation? Well, we've been telling him. All along, that uh, though John, got, I think John was in the hospital for 14 days, mm -hmm. but they have they they want to no day minus 14, 13 until when they get to day zero. That's the day of the transplant, and that's the day he has to come in mm -hmm. and do. But they make it like an um, uh, one day event. They don't want to keep him in the hospital. Right. So we just, I just well, we've been telling him that you'll be going to the hospital to help John. Yeah. And we explain to him. So yeah, he's look forward to it and he said oh that's great so on the morning on that day i took him to the particular ward in the hospital he changed his clothes and uh, they took him into the operating. To the operating room and the doctor came out to explain what he's going to do okay and then um, how many hours it's likely going to take and what are the risks they've told us before and he has to re-emphasize it again mm -hmm. and at the end of the operation what called oh that he's now in recovery the doctor came out and he said yes just uh, the, the everything went well. It's successful, and they showed me you know, the bag he was carrying. That that's the that's what he took, and then right away they started the transplant on the other guy in another ward. Hmm. You know? So how that's much, like where did they take it out of the body? It's at the back. At the back. They just put they just put two needles at the back. At two the, needles. Yes, at the and lower. Like your, your plate, your plate here? Yes. Do you take it from the actual sacrum? Is that where they take it from? Um, well, you know what, I'm not, I'm a banker, so I don't know all those stuff. <laughs> uh, how long did that take to do that, to, to take the, was it extracting quick? It. Well, extracting it. Extracting it. It took like uh, four to five hours. Four to five hours, yeah. eh? How, how much do they, that's a long time, how much did they take? Well, I don't know, it's, but it's a lot, because the guy, by the time he came out, he's as tall, my son is as tall as myself. He was the way he, was, he could not even walk after carrying. Hmm. Yeah. He was in, they told us he's going to be in pain, and um, the pain was so much. But you know what? You can't even see the scare after like after about, uh, four or five days at home. Mm -hmm. I had to sit with him and all those things. Mm -hmm. Just being careful with him, everything. He was able to overcome the whole thing, and all the pains are gone. 
Yeah. They're gone. Yeah. So how's he doing now? Um, he's doing great. He went back to he's school. He's back to school. <laughs>